All right, folks. Uh, just came up with an idea that we saw online but wasn't explained real well, so I thought I'd make a video to help explain it, and that's how to drain our duck kiddie pool quickly, which is all the way over here. There are the ducks. <laughs> all right. Well, you just get a standard sink basket strainer. I picked mine up at Lowe's. Uh, it did come with the nut on the bottom, but for the application, I won't need it. it. does have the rubber gasket, the paper gasket, lock washer, lock nut, I should say. Um, and I picked up this one and a half inch elbow, which will tie into here directly. All right, when it's put on there, you come off this, you'll drill a three and a half inch hole in the bottom of the pool. And then I'm gonna put a layer of silicone um, on top of the pool, set this on top, then you'll put your rubber washer, paper washer, lock nut on the bottom. Tighten that down real tight. This will come off from the bottom and then this bottom connection piece here will tie in directly to this coupling that's made for a one and a half inch like under the sink piping like this and it will tie directly into that and this coupling goes on to a two inch well this is a one and a half inch pvc pipe as you can see here but that's the inside diameter the outside is, i believe is two inch but this also just a few dollars at lowe's and then this whole piece here i went ahead and drilled some holes in it but that'll just pipe off from the bottom of the kiddie pool and we'll pull that out every day or two and drain it out it should be simple uh, some people collect the water, but um, we're not in, going to do that at the moment. I'd rather just clean it out every day for the ducks. But All right. Right now we're going to drill the hole. It's a three and a half inch hole with the hole saw. Oh, there you go. Well, <laughs> that's it. We got our hole for the sink drain. We'll get that attached in just a minute. I got it, bud. And uh, we'll update the video in just a minute. All right, next we're going to put a layer of this silicone, just a small bead around the top surface here. Then we'll lay this down on top. And again, from the bottom side, we'll have the rubber seal, the paper seal, and the lock nut. washer off, paper and rubber, and we are going to set this down in there. This is where a second set of hands will definitely come in handy. All right, sir, let me have the, go ahead and put the rubber back on, then the paper, and then the other way. There you go. Other the way. Hold on, we don't want to cross start. Let me get it started. Alright. Okay, and we're going to tighten it with a pair of channel locks just a little tighter. Hold the pool for me, sir. Yes, sir. Pull this 
out. Can you hold it? Try and hold it from this side. Ducks running around. <laughs> Alright, we'll, um, I'll go find something to stick in here to hold this in place while I tighten it up a little bit more. Alright. Bent this a tiny bit with the screwdriver holding it in there, but I put a screwdriver in here and tightened it as tight as I could go. Uh, the front side here looks like where the lettering is. There might be a little raised area, not all the way flush. I did put a layer underneath here, which should protect it. However, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more caulking just right around the lettering, just in case. And this sets up in 30 minutes, so we'll uh, test it later. We're letting the inside of the silicone dry. Meanwhile, we're gonna attach the elbow. Again, this is a one and a half for like under the sink. One and a half to one and a half. And it's got this tail cap, I believe is what it's called. And it's gonna sit in right here, keep it from also uh, leaking. Just thread it on there. turn it any direction that you want it. Just tighten it down. And then the next piece will be the PVC pipe. Which again, I put some uh, PVC cement in here when I put this coupling on. And this is the one and a half inch thread, two inch PVC pipe. The inside diameter is one and a half, but it'll go right in here. And this will also just tighten onto here but I'd like to set it in place before I actually tighten it. So that should be it for now. All right, we got the silicone setting up in there. I have uh, some landscaping rocks just around the front there, underneath a couple of them to support it. Pipe coming out right there, draining outside of the fence. Some of it will drain inside, but didn't want a big mud pit in here. Um, we're gonna have to build a little ramp or steps up here for the ducks. So we'll see how that works, but we'll let this sit up and test it, make sure it doesn't leak. Got this little skewer. See if we can try and hook that uh, drain stopper so it can get our hands all in there. There it goes. And we got it draining out a little bit away. YouTubers, thank you for watching my first video uh, on this channel. Hope that the uh, drain helps you out in the future to be able to wash out that duck pool quicker. I know it became messy. <laughs> um, I'll try to add some links below for some of the products we used if uh, you wanted to check that out. And uh, not sure what all I'll have on this channel, but uh, I'll try to come up with some homestead ideas as I'm going along raising ducks and rabbits and any other things that would come across our garden and maybe just some quick fix it videos but uh, if you'd like subscribe comment below uh, whatever I'd appreciate every bit of it thank you all have a blessed day